Welcome to Easy Elim Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be learning on Form 2 Mathematics. And our topic for today is quadratic expressions and equations. But our focus today is going to be on factorization and in, this, in the case where the coefficient of x is 1. So in the previous lesson we were able to look at how we expand using different identities. Now you are going to do the opposite. Now you have the equation, how can you factorize that equation? So factorization, especially when the coefficient is 1. So to factorize an expression, the expression is ax squared plus bx plus c, and where our x is, um, great, is 1, it's actually 1. So there's a 1 and the x squared. Uh, we look for two numbers such that their product is AC uh, and their sum is B. So, for example, uh, when you look at these expressions here, A plus 2, A plus 5, remember if we used, because this looks like A plus B, A, uh, so if we op if if we expand this value, we are going to get the first one is x squared plus seven x plus ten, and if we expand the second one, it's going to be x squared plus seven x plus twelve. So let's do these two expressions, the ones that we have been given, so that we can go back and get these uh, factors. So the first thing we notice is that the sum of the constant terms of the factors is equal to the coefficient of x in the expression, and the product of the constant uh, terms of the factors is equal to the constant term of the expression. So you see in an expression we have the value of b, and also in, a, in this uh, expression we have ac. So in this case, first of all, the value of ac is going to be, ac is going to be 1, times 10, so AC is going to be 10, and then the product of B, the product should total to 7. So what we are going to look for, we are look, going to look for two numbers, such that if you multiply them, you get 10, and if you add them, you're going to get 7. Let me repeat that one more time. So the product is A, and our A is 1, times 10, which gives us 10. And then our sum is b, which is 7. So we need two numbers such that if you multiply them, you get 10. And if you add them, you get 7. And if you look at the factors of 10, 5 and 2 are those numbers. If you multiply 5 times 2, you get 10. If you add 5 plus 2, you get 7. So we are going to repeat this equation. Remember, we are working on the first one, but we include now this sum. So it's going to look like 6x squared plus 5x plus 2x plus 10. So we are repeating the equation, but now only including those factors on the sum. So 5x plus 2x gives us 7x. That's the only thing we are going to change. After that, we introduce brackets. How do we introduce brackets? We take two uh, uh, expressions at a time. So the common thing about the first expression is x. So you put x outside and then x plus 5. Because if you work out this expression, it's going to give us what we have on top here. And then what is common between these two in this second expression is 2. And it is, there's a plus outside. So 2 into bracket x plus 5. And you notice the expressions in the bracket are the same. If you start making your factors and you notice the expressions are different, then you know there's a place you have made an error. So after that, you only pick one of the expressions. So you pick the outside ones, which is x plus 2, and the inner ones, which is x plus 5. And this is how you are factorized. So that is factorization. So let's do a few examples so that you can see how we did that. So we will do the first one, and then we do the second one. So x squared plus 6x plus b. So our ac is the value outside the x squared, which is we have is 1. So it is 1 times 5, which gives us 5. And then our sum, which is b, is 6. So we need two numbers such that if you multiply them, you get 5. And if you add them, you get 6. 
And the multiple is the one that helps you to be able to get those factors. We know five as a factor of one and itself. So if you want one plus five, you're going to get six. If you multiply one times five, you get five. So that those two numbers are one and five. So we only change the equation to include that sum. So it's going to be x squared plus 5x plus x. You see now I've introduced this 6x instead of writing 6x. I put 5x plus x because it's 5 plus 1 which gives us 6. Then plus 5. After that, I group them. I'll put bracket 2, 2 and 2. I group the expressions. So what is common between this first expression is x, so I'll put it outside the bracket. So this becomes x, so that when you open x times x, you get x squared, then plus 5, so that if you multiply x times 5, you get 5x. See what we are doing? Then plus, what is common between here is 1, because you can see it is x and 5. So what is common is actually 1, so it becomes x plus 5. And again, you notice the expression inside the brackets are actually the same. So your answer becomes x plus 1. So you take this value and this value it becomes x plus 1. And then you take one of the expressions that are similar, that becomes x plus 5. And that is your answer. So let's do this question. So our a, b in this question, our a is 1 that is here times 12 becomes negative 12. And then our b is positive 1. As you can see, there's a 1 here becomes 1. So we need two numbers such that if we multiply them, we get negative 12. If you add or subtract them, you get 1. So remember the multiples of 12, we have 4 and 3. Because you know if you do 4 minus 3, you're going to get 1. So this means our numbers are going to be 4 and minus 3. So that if you do 4 times minus 3, you get minus 12. And 4 minus 3, you get 1. So we change the equation and include now that sum. So it's going to be x squared, then plus for x minus 3x, then minus 12. The only thing you change is the sum to include the new values. And you see how I've done in the case where we have negative. So put that in mind because it's going to change. If, you, if I was to choose, for example, 4 plus 3, you know 4 plus 3 is 7. It doesn't form our 1. It has to be 4 minus 3. So we have a 4 and we have a negative 3. That needs to be put there. All right, so we... We make a bracket here to these two expressions. So what is common here is x. So this becomes x plus 4. And what is common, don't forget the minus, what is common here is 3. So it becomes x plus. It becomes plus because if you open the bracket, it's going to be minus. Just be very careful, especially with the minuses. So if you open this bracket, minus 3 times x, you get minus 3x. If you multiply minus 3 times 4, you get minus 12. That is where the negative values come in. So this becomes x minus 3. You pick these two values, and then you pick one of the expressions that are the same. And this becomes your factors. So note the expressions that are in bracket in the second step, they are the same like x plus 4 and x plus. If you notice, they are not the same when you are grouping them. And you notice they are not the same. It means it's something that you have done wrong. So make sure you check your values. And be very, very careful with the negative values. Negative values are the ones that might determine if you get the question or not. Do not forget that negative times negative gives you positive and negative times Positive gives you negative, and positive times positive will give you positive. Such that especially this inner expression where we have a negative value multiplying a positive, be very careful with that. And a negative times negative is positive. Because you notice like in our question here, we had negative, negative. But for us to get here, because you have to ask, ask yourself, how do I open this bracket to get my 3x minus 12? It means there must be a positive here. So that when I open, it becomes negative. 
be very careful. So that's how we make uh, factorization with values that are one. And when x is one. So check out more revision questions. Uh, there are more revision questions on the app on this. You can practice again and again and again until you get, uh, you understand completely and also notes on the same. See you on the next lesson.